Ellie has lived alone for many years. Loss of her husband and daughter left a stream of tears. She is now 81, and death is knocking at her door. Taking care of herself has come too great of chore. Jerry, a young man, a big heart and well converse. He looks after the elderly as a certified nurse. Tales of strange goings on at the hillside home, where his friends and family begged him never to go there alone. But Jerry was trained, and he knew how to deal. Elderly people needed love, care, and a good healthy meal. He would have Sarah, an undergrad that would help with a few things or two, like laundry, cooking and cleaning, all those crappy jobs, because she was new. It was Saturday morning when they both arrived. Hillside was cluttered both out and inside. I will start to clean, Sarah said. Jerry said, fine, and he went to greet Dolly upstairs in her bed. Dolly looked frail, as skinny as a stick. Odd odor in the room confirmed she was sick. Hello, Dolly. I'm Jerry. I'm here to care for you. Sarah is downstairs. I'll have her make some stew. Dolly locked eyes with him and said, Don't forget Dolly. She will be quite upset if not fed by Golly. He smiled at her and replied, Of course, ma'am, I will. Figured it's her being very old, confused, and ill. He brought up some dinner and sitting in her bed was a creepy looking dog with long locks of red. Dolly says hi, the old lady claimed. He knew she had a bad tragedy, so who could blame? That night, it was cold, with a chill in the air. The silence was disturbed by a creak on the stair. Again and again, creak, creak, creak. Jerry got out of bed to take a peek. Sarah, is that you? He quietly said as he passed her room, but she was sleeping peacefully in bed. The noise got louder as he turned around to see. The doll was behind him on the floor, but how could that be? He picked up the toy and sat it in Dolly's room. When he went back down the hall, he felt an overwhelming doom. That night he dreamt of struggling in water, weeds pulling him down. So tight around him, he lost air and started to drown. For many nights he had visions of death and despair, terror of drowning and suffocating, feeling no more than he could bear. He could hear voices of a child giggling during the night. That creepy doll was appearing constantly, dispensing fright. Each night waking up in such terrors, the dream seemed so real. Pulling away the blankets, he noticed weeds wrapped around his right heel. What the heck? What is happening? He shouted and jumped to the floor. I need to talk to Dolly. He crossed the hall and ran to her bedroom door. Inside the bedroom, the voices were heard. Obviously, it was Sarah so he listened and tried not to disturb. He figured Sarah was just helping out and being polite. He stood there quiet and patient in the middle of the night. Dolly's voice was cracked and forced with every breath she took. Then Jerry could hear flipping pages of a book. Glad you came to me, dear. It's been too long. You're young and beautiful. Healthy and strong. The night seems long when you're alone. A chill in the air you feel deep in your bone. I am an aged woman who lost my daughter years ago. She will never see her fifth birthday and I'll never watch her grow. My poor girl was lost to the weedy lake outside. My late husband turned for a moment then had to search long and wide. Before too long, her little body floated semi-emerged 
He pulled her from the watery grave, and the slimy water was regurged. But it was too late for our little one's life. He brought her next corpse back to me, his grieving wife. I was angry at him. How could he, you stupid fool? It was his fault he was dead, so I hit him hard with my gardening tool. He fell to the ground. Blood pooled around his head. Now you are able to take care of her because you are dead. Alone in the house I am, but not really alone, because my daughter has never left her hillside home. She needs me here to take care of her for the years to come. Now with you two here, it has begun. The dreams you've had had are for the best. Now your bodies are ours to possess. Jerry opened the door slowly and looked at Dolly lying still. She has passed, Sarah exclaimed. How do you feel? He looked at Sarah and then down at his own hand. <laughs> Mommy, I feel alive, but I think I'm a man. <laughs> If you enjoy seeing me, the jester, speak, a video is uploaded every other week. If you enjoy listening to a rhyming scare, then click the like, subscribe, and share.